Earlier this week, I dropped a video on how to draft a bomber jacket. This is the part two of that video. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. You're welcome. My name is Nifon Tui, and on this channel, I make sewing tutorials. I post new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. But well, that's been a bit. In this video, I'll show you how to how to make a bomber jacket. This is the part two. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe for more great content. See you later. All right, so here we have um, we have our patterns. This is the part two of the video, like I've said earlier. So please make sure that you guys see the part one. This is the back, of course. This is the front, and this is one of the sleeves. So the first thing we're going to do when we want to start sewing is we're going to join uh, linings. Okay, so this is the lining here. This is the back pattern that we have here, and this is the front. So what we're going to do, we're going to align armhole with armhole, shoulder with shoulder on this part. We're also going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my sewing machine, and I'm going to run a line from here to here at half an inch, and from here to here at half an inch. I run a line from this shoulder, from this point to from shoulder to the top of the armhole, from the shoulder to the top of the armhole. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it flat like this. Okay, this is simply the part I have joined, and I'm going to iron it flat. I'm going to repeat the same thing for both sides. Okay, so I'm going to iron here flat. Okay, when I'm done with this, I'm going to also do the same thing on this part here. Now, when you're done jo with joining the shoulders, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come to the side, which is here. And I know that we kept two inches of sewing allowance, okay? But what you're going to do is because the jacket is supposed to have an oversized look, you will not hold two inches on the side. What you're going to do is you're going to hold half an inch, 0 0.5, the same way we joined our shoulder. You're going to do the same thing, run 0 0.5 from here straight down to the bottom, all right? So I'm going to go and do that on this side and on this part. So what you can see here is my is that I have run the line, I run a seam from here to here. And I've also repeated the exact same thing on this other side, okay? So on both sides of the side, I have, um, I have a line half an inch from top to bottom. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my sleeve, okay? So you're going to take your sleeve pattern, that's your, um, the pattern that you have for your sleeve, and you're going to run from the beginning from here all the way down. The same thing is going to happen over here. You're going to run from here all the way to from here all the way to the bottom at half an inch and if you're wondering what this white thing is go and watch the last video okay because it can be quite stubborn sometimes go and watch the last before we go to stitch the sleeve a quick little tip now you see when you want to go and stitch your um sleeve because we also need to do the same thing to our lining what you should do so that you don't mix up your sleeve because there are four um two sleeves with the lining so four four patterns in total right what you want to do is you want to sew from here half an inch to here but you want to sew your lining for this sleeve immediately after because because the, where this um, curve for the front of your um, bodies is on the sleeve for this sleeve is different from the one on the other sleeve and the same thing with the lining so you have to it, 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 it'll be a lot easier for you to sew the lining alongside with the sleeve that's belongs to this um, with the lining that belongs to this sleeve i hope that's clear so you see this part here if you want your sleeve not to be mismatched what you're going to do is this as you are sewing along you half an inch you're going to take your lining see, now you see this part of my lining too it's facing the same way and if you notice if you see them side by side you see that this side that has the curve that has this curve the two curves here they are both facing up all right so that's what you want to do as you're sewing your fabric you know you sew along here at um half an inch just simply continue into your lining at half an inch okay so what you can see here is that i have run a line on both sides of my sleeve okay so this is the sleeve as you guys can tell obviously this is the sleeve this is the inner part and this is the lining for it i've run a line from beginning to the end so the next part will be to um, is to attach our rib to it so okay now when you want to cut the rib the first thing that you must do is you must have the distance around the person's um, wrist okay so the wrist i'm dealing with is, is seven is seven inches okay so what you're going to do is you're going to add one inch to that number now you're adding one inch to that number because you're keeping half inch for sewing allowance all right so we have half an inch for sewing allow um, half inch on both sides that's one i'm going to explain that further so now we're going to come here eight all right and i'm going to cut it out okay 
now reason what i was trying to explain is this is that now we have eight inches here okay by the time we fold it like this because we're going to need to collapse it to sew it see what i just did it was like this okay i flattened it picked it up joined both sides together by the time i'm sewing from here straight down to the bottom at half an inch what will happen is that i have half an inch on the top here and half half an inch on the bottom part all right so that's going to make a total of one inch so now i'm going to put this into my machine and i'm going to run a line from here to here binding both sides together all right so as you can see here i've run a stitch from top to the bottom part okay i've binded both of them together now the next thing you want to do is that you want to collapse this part now see what i'm doing this is the way it is now okay you are simply going to take this part here all right make it match with this part that we have here all right and then you turn everything inside out all right so this is what you're going to this is what you should have at the end of the day all right so here it is this is what we have okay so now the next thing would be how are we going to attach this to our sleeve because mind you this is supposed to sit on the on the wrist all right so you see this i'm going to take this part here all right i'm going to take this part here see this part here we're going to open it up see this joining we have here where where our um, third is showing you're going to make it match with where you have this joining over here okay you see that so we're going to take it like this and we're going to put it into our machine but here we're going to put it into the machine and drop down our presser foot to hold it down like so so now the next thing will be how are we going to fix our lining okay so this is what you do you turn the lining you turn the lining sorry you turn the lining inside out you see this you turn the lining inside out then you take this joining you see the part here the seam that's joined both sides together you're going to take it hold the front part pass it through all of this you're going to bring this piece all the way out this way okay bring it all the way out this way all right then pass it in between now this is the rib that we have here you see this rib this is the rib that we have okay so you see this part that we have here we're going to pass this side through it and bring this joining and align this joining with the rest of these guys now you see what we have here now this is the fabric okay this is the rib and this is our lining okay now you see this we're simply going to stitch around in a circle okay so i'm going to place this down and you're going to sew now when you begin sewing when you start to sew you will see that we we'll start here but by the time we turn around we're going to come back to the very point that we um where we started from all right so when you are done stitching around now what you will do is this now you see this lining that we have here simply just drag them by now what you would notice is that we have fixed the rib around the sleeve okay so you see this we'll fix the rib around the sleeve if you want you can open up the sleeve like this lay it flat put it into your machine and stitch around and you have that seam that shows on the outside here but i don't want that for mine i think i prefer it when it doesn't have a stitch okay so what you can see here is a bummer is my the front pattern of the jacket and i have made my pockets okay so um this pocket is quite easy to make this call a world pocket um i would show you how i did I would show you how I did this pocket but I would not show you because I've made a video about how to make a world pocket already on this channel um, I will drop a link um, right here on the screen um, so if you haven't seen that video go and see the video so that you see how I made the world okay how I built the world um, so but what I'm going to do for it I'm going to tell you how is the position where the world is placed okay after this video you can go and watch that video if you are trying to follow along okay so here we have the pattern for the front as you guys can see so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to come from the bottom okay now you see this the edge of the um, pattern at the bottom end i'm going to come from here from anywhere here really there is no there is no exact position where i'm dropping it here okay so what you're going to do is you're going to come from the bottom make a mark at one inch it can be anywhere around here make a mark at one inch first okay so you see that you see this line that we have here because look at where one inch is last is is um, landing now you see this line that we have here that's this pattern simply come from this end here from this edge here you're going to place and uh, make a mark at 7.5 
okay so we make a mark here 7.5 from the edge on this line that we have 7.5 okay so we made a mark where 7.5 is what you're going to do is this now you see this mark that we have here okay the mark that we made around this point here okay you're going to come from that point you're going to come up by six inches so from here you're going to come to where six inches is and you're going to make a mark all right but this time when you're placing from here to here you will not place seven two at this other top part here you um, you will place 5.5 .5. so i'm going to come to where 5.5 .5 is and i'm going to make a mark from here to here 5.5 .5, all right now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line to connect this point i have here to this point all right so i'm going to come place my yardstick or your ruler whatever you have from here and you're going to rule a line from here to the top okay so when you are making your darts okay when you are fixing your darts this is where you're going to see where the edge of the dart is going to start from and your that's going to sit something like this okay so this is what i'm going to do in your absence or while you go to see the other video this is what i'm going to be doing yeah promise that i used to be, I used to be transparent but ever since you hit 20k you because you've been acting all brand new it's not that serious now why are you sounding like that it's very serious how is it serious at the end of the day don't forget you're just a boy that, that, that was raised in Nakampa. no matter the level of success Nothing to change about that. No matter how hard you try. How did this? <laughs> what are you even talking about? <laughs> Where did that come from? As a matter of fact, I'm not even having this conversation. My Uba is here. I'm out. Come, come now, come. It's not. It's not that serious. Simply go and see the other video. That's all I said. How? So, uh, what's what's what are you talking about right now? It's not that serious. Just go and see the video on how to make the world. It's it's not even a long video. Please. Ah. So you are welcome back. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to fix our zipper now you see this is the zipper that i'm using and as you can see it has um the end here allows you to to open the zipper up okay now that's the type of zipper you want to get a zipper that can be separated okay because the front of the jacket you're supposed to be able to separate both sides of the front now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to fix the zipper as you can see this is the top part of the zipper you can see this um you can see the handle here okay now what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to zip it all the way up this is the front side of the zip this is the wrong side okay so what you're going to do is this this is how the zip should appear at the end of the day okay so you're going to flip here over like this see this you're going to leave a space sorry of half at, of um, half an inch at the bottom part all right so here you're going to leave half an inch at this point here i'm going to now stitch close to the zip here from top all the way up to um, from the bottom all the way up to the top all right so that's what i'm doing now i'm simply going to drop my needle and i'm going to stitch from here okay make sure you lock it at the beginning okay and i'm stitching from here all the way to the top So this is the front of these are the two fronts this is side i just stitched and if i flip it like this you see where the, this part is already looking like it's supposed to look okay so i'm going to re repeat the exact same thing for this other side so i'm going to keep here like this you see this simply flip it making sure that the zip stays like this i'm going to simply flip it to this side here and we're going to stitch from the bottom all the way to the top all right so this is for as you can see at the front part we have in, we have installed the zipper in front so now the next thing would be to join the sides just like the way we did um to the lining okay so just like how we join the lining so i'm going to sew of course the shoulder two sides half inch two sides of the shoulder half inch on this side and on this side okay so by the time i'm done with that i'm going to come back okay so uh, as i was saying i've stitched the shoulders and i've stitched the side the next thing we're going to do is you're going to turn everything inside out i found everything inside out and i'm going to now bind the lining to it okay so next step is we're going to need to turn the lining with it okay so here we have the lining exactly the way we stitched it okay lining is also the same way the fabric is during that the shoulders so i'm going to zip all the way down and this is what i'm going to do okay so at the end of the day we want the rough side of the fabric to be on the same um to be facing the same direction with the rough side of the lining so what we're going to do is this you're going to see the inside here look at where the rough edge is facing you're going to 
take this part like so you see this so what i'm doing see the way it is so that i don't get confused see the way it is i'm going to flip this lining like this okay and if you see by the time i turn it like so you will see that the good side of the lining that is clean and doesn't have any rough edge is facing the same direction now with the good side of the fabric that's what you want okay i'm going to now turn over to this other side and i'm going to stitch from here all the way down all right so what i'm simply doing is you're going to stitch on the line that you, that you stitched when you were fixing the zipper all right so you're going to simply just run that line all over again from top all the way down to the bottom When you get to the end of the stitch if you if you remember when we were stitching down we kept half an inch at the bottom part for the allowance what you do is you leave your needle inside turn and then you will stitch across across that allowance that you um that you kept okay so i'm going to stitch across and i'm done with this we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side okay so um as you can see I have stitched the lining together to um, uh, I bind the lining to the fabric from top to bottom and it also has the angle at the at the down part all right so what you're going to do is you're going to and if just so that you are sure that you've not made a mistake by the time you are done all the rough work on the actual on, on the fabric should be facing you and all the rough work on your lining if you flip it over should also be facing out here okay the good sides should be facing themselves that's how you know that you fix the zipper the right way and if i turn everything inside out you would notice if i turn everything inside out you notice that it's sitting just right okay you're going to need to poke out the edge so that it comes out a bit. and then when we're done if you come to the zipper you would see that everything has been turned and we, and we can now zip it up if you look at the inside look at what the lining has done and also the lining should be clean on the inside too okay look at all this this part is facing you the clean side is facing you on all sides all right so now the next step will be to fix the rib around the neck all right so the next thing you want to do when it's time to cut the rib for the neck part is you're going to need to measure from here okay we're going to need to measure from here just the way i am um, i'm doing it from here to the end what i have at the end is 17.5 so now when it's time for you to cut the rib now when i measured around the neck i had 17.5 now what i have done is i've cut this at 15.5 so you subtract two inches off from the 17.5 so if your if your um, neck was 18 you cut the rib at 16 all right and when you're done with that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make the edge a bit curvy now this is just because of the design of the neckline that we are making there are some necklines that are boxy there are different types of necklines when it comes to bomber jacket but for the round the um, conventional neckline that's always used on the neck of varsity jackets and bomber jackets um yeah this is it okay so now that that is done it's time to fix the color the rib to the to the neckline so this is how it goes you turn everything again you turn everything back to the rough side okay turn the whole jacket inside out all right and when you're done with turning everything to the inside what you do is this you take this color you see this color now i want this stripe to be on the front of my to show when my um when the person puts it on so you, you make the um, side that has the stripes to face the fabric okay make sure it's facing the fabric if you if you fix it anyhow and you keep this plain side facing the fabric what will happen is that it will come out um, it won't come out well it will come out facing um, the wrong way okay so that is it as you can see i'm placing it there keeping the rough edge where all the rough edges are and i'm simply going to sew from this neckline to the other neckline at every point i'm going to make sure that i'm fixing this um, rib at half an inch okay so that's what i'm doing starting from here Make sure that you always that you sew it at half an at half an inch at every point.
all right so now the next thing would be to cut off the excess zipper if you have any if you have any um so let me show you guys what it is before we continue so if you look at the neckline inside you see this is where the zipper is as you can see this is where the zipper is okay so this is the zipper this is the neckline so as you can see we have turned the neck around with the um with the rib from one side all the way down to another but before we turn all the way in the next step is going to um, would have to fix the um the rib at the bottom of the jacket too but we are going to measure from this angle all the way down so you start from here you are going to need to measure here okay so that's 25 all the way down to so here we have 41 okay so how i cut the rib is that if this is 41 i subtract 10 inches from depends on the stretchiness of the rib but most times i um, subtract 10 inches from the number so if this is 41 times i'm cutting my rib at 31 inches okay all right so now we are um back as you can see the bottom you can see this is the bottom part of the of the jacket all right now this is the rib that i have cut that i want to fix but um like i said before if you want this branding to show at the end of the day then when you are installing it you make sure that this branding is facing the down part but i don't want that to happen i want the black the black is the part i want to show at the end of the day so i'm going to make it face the fabric okay initially if you want this to show make sure that this is facing the fabric when you are this part is facing the fabric when you're stitching but i don't want that as for the bottom part so see what i'm doing with the, the final um side that i want to show which is the plain black i'm going to come to the bottom part you see this angle here i'm going to place it from the very beginning okay and then cover use my lining to cover it all right then i'm going to bring it to the machine and i'm going to stitch here from the bottom from that very edge at the bottom okay i'm going to stitch it all the way to where i have that angle all right when you get to where the angle is exactly you leave the needle inside the machine okay pick up the presser foot turn the jacket then you're going to drag okay you're going to drag it at that angle okay like so make sure that when you, uh, when, um, when you turn it place both your fabric and the lining and the rib at half an inch and you're going to stitch now when you're stitching don't stitch all the way down after you've securely um you're securely, you're securely out of that angle you can lock it there first okay we're going to need to come to the bottom part and do the exact same thing then we'll stitch this um, the center but let me show you guys what we have already okay if i flip it over to if i flip it over around to the other side you will see that we have that angle already okay we have the angle already so i'm going to turn back to the inside and continue and i'll show you guys everything at the end okay so that is it for this part we're going to arrange the rib okay and we're going to come all the way down to the bottom i'm going to repeat the same thing okay so we come to this angle on this end here it's the same thing that we did before that we'll do again okay so now that we are out of that angle you can now stitch straight down without stopping okay now the reason why i why i wanted to why i i didn't just come from that side all the way is because at the end of the day my end of so now the reason why i didn't just start from come from the other side all the way down here is because if you do that you might end up stretching um le uh, less than you actually need so it's best to lock it on this side lock it at the other angle and then sew whatever is, is um, in between it also helps you distribute the um, because you know this rib here has some elasticity okay this will also help you distribute that elasticity evenly okay because you might end up dragging more they're dragging less here so this is just best okay so i'm simply going to stitch from here all the way down to the bottom so as you can see as um, as you can see we are right back to where the last stitch stopped okay so we're simply going to just complete when you get to after you are done with that turn everything inside out take it to your ironing table and press it then we are going to attach the sleeve when we are done with that now if you want you can stitch around the um you can stitch around 
the edges of you of the jacket okay meaning that you can start from um around here okay make a stitch here or just um a stitch from up here that would show under here stitch here stitch around the bottom it will come all the way around the neck and all the way down here you, uh, if you've seen most um, jackets you see a stitch running around that holds that um, binds both the fabric the zipper and the lining okay if you want you can do that but to me that's totally optional but it will also come around through um around the dump the rib at the bottom part let me even show you guys the rib at the bottom yeah this is what it looks like so this will also come around the bottom too when i'm done with that we'll attach the sleeve and then um that's all for the jacket here we have we have the sleeve okay so this is the armhole this part here is the sleeve okay and as you can see i have the front of the sleeve this is the front of the, of the jacket obviously and i've stitched around the jacket i don't know if the camera is picking that up i've stitched around the jacket anyway this is the front of the um, jacket okay i'm going to align this armhole now you see the armhole and the bottom part of my sleeve okay where the joint you are going to align the bottom part of the sleeve and the armhole of the body like so okay turn it inside out just exactly how i have done and then you're going to take both of them like this and you're going to stitch around the armhole okay so that's what i'm doing now i'm going to start from the joining and i'm going to stitch okay so we've reached the end of um the armhole if i've turned into the other side the inside you will see to the front side sorry you see that i the sleeve has been fixed okay so we have fixed the sleeve the last thing would be to fix the lining okay so we come here pull everything inside out okay and then if you want you could turn jacket but there, there's, there's another way to do it but let me just do it this way we turn the entire jacket inside out for this Okay, turn it inside out and then we bring the sleeve, okay, and align it with the armhole. Come here, let me pull everything out. Alright, so this is the sleeve we have, okay, and this is the armhole. You want to bring it out the, um, the way I've you want to bring it out the way I've brought it out so that you'll be able to properly align the sleeve and align the armhole. You don't want this um, lining to twist inside, okay? So it's basically the same thing. I'm going to um, I'm going to keep the lining, okay? Make sure that this is smooth. Make sure it's coming. You take the down part of the sleeve, the bottom part of the sleeve, okay? And come to the bottom part of the armhole, all right? And we're going to do the same thing. You're going to stitch you're going to stitch around okay so this is it bottom of the arm of, of, of the armhole yeah and bottom of the sleeve so you take this put it into your machine and stitch around just like how just like how i um, stitched the sleeve around okay, for me. okay so now i have gone around the sleeve okay so this is where we started from and i've stitched the sleeve exactly how the fabric is stitched now uh, you would notice something that we are now locked in by going around the armhole like that we have locked ourselves in so you'd have to make a little um you have to loosen a little part of um the stitch that you made on the side you can come out of almost anywhere you can come out but the um place i would prefer you can come out of a place a hole in the sleeve or you can come out from the side uh, any um you can use any um of those points to um turn everything inside out all right so let me okay so you create a hole like this you go inside simply yank everything from this hole simply pull everything out which is what i'm doing So I've turned everything inside out. The last thing would be to seal the hole that we loosened, all right? So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to simply run a stitch and finish off um, the hole that we have here.
okay so that is it we are done that's it basically just um try to neaten up your work if you have any excess thread so at this point that you cut it out um you take it to your pressing table and iron it flat all right so um we are done you can see the inside is the inside is quite um, neat if you also want to make the jacket reversible to be really re um, reversible you can you can still um, use this exact same method and you will end up with the fronts being being as clean as the with the, in, with the inside being as clean as the outside okay so just knitting up your stitch my machine was giving me insane um, headache do, um, throughout this entire sewing session but it's all good uh, i'll see you guys in the next video and that is it from me bye